Hey guys, today I have a matching Kenmore washer and electric dryer set. Now this is the direct drive style with full water submersion. Has the agitator in it. All things that tell you your clothes are gonna get super clean. The way this agitator works, I'll tell you real quick while it's filling up. It turns freely in one direction and not back the other way. So if you can reach in your washer and spin it freely in both directions, if it's this style, um, then this is actually not working correctly. And so what happens is, as it fills up with water and starts to agitate, it vortexes these clothes along this agitator fin here down the bottom. And there's four fins along the bottom that then push the clothes out against the outer wall and they kind of just make this vortexing cycle here. And it does an excellent job getting your clothes clean. Take it from someone with four kids. This is the style that I have. It works amazing. And one of my favorite style of washer and dryer. I wish they still made them, to be honest with you. But I digress. Uh, this machine here, you can manually adjust that water level in case you just want to do a real small load. You have um, what, five temperatures here, so uh, plenty to choose from. You have a second rinse option. You can also control how fast or slow the agitator is going to work. And this is great for really delicate items. Allows you to wash some things that maybe you couldn't in uh, just your standard washer. You can kick that all the way over to super slow so the agitator is going to go real slow and not damage anything you might be putting in there that's uh, super delicate. Then we come over to the cycles here. I'm going with ultra clean, kind of right in the middle. I don't want it to take all day. This is the fourth load that I put through here. I always do the last load, do a little video as if you were standing here yourself, checking it out. You get to see everything works perfect. But you do have a permanent press cycle. Uh, you can soak, you can do a pre-wash, and then that ultimate clean there is kind of the, the main cycle there. So that's where I have it set. It's filling up with water. And once it's all the way full, I'll come back and show you how it agitates. Of course, it's got a, a safety lid switch feature on here. So when we lift it up, it'll sh shut down. But I'll be able to uh, let you hear that agitator kick. So that's it kicking in the direction as it goes. And that's how you know it's working correctly. So we'll get to see all that. Then I'll show you that the water drains out like it's supposed to. And then finally has a nice, fast, smooth final spin cycle. Then we'll move over to the dryer and show you that the dryer is working perfectly. So we will come back. Okay, it's filled all the way up with water. Now you can hear it. You probably also hear the rain on the roof up there. But uh, you can hear that agitator kick. Of course, if I lift it up, it's going to shut it down. But you can see it's doing a good job getting everything nice and soapy as it kind of works everything through. What I'll do is, I'll, like I said, I'll come back uh, next as it moves from the wash cycle over to the rinse cycle, and you'll get to hear that drain run. All right, moving out of the wash cycle now into the rinse cycle. You can hear it draining that water out. Nice and fast there. Can't really hear it. It's not flooding the place. There, now you can hear it. Normally I lift the lid up, but on this one, it actually goes into a neutral cycle. Then when it's done with that neutral cycle, it switches gears and then it spins. And if you lift this up during the neutral cycle, it can actually interrupt that. So you're not supposed to lift the lid up once you start the cycle. So I don't. Um, but we'll come back here as it's spinning and I'll show you, obviously it's gonna fill back up with uh, fresh clean water for that rinse cycle. So I'll show you that once it's all done and show you that first spin on the rinse cycle. Okay, so it's finished draining. It just kicked over to now it's spinning. You can hear, at least I can hear, it's still kicking some water out as it goes. And the reason it does that neutral into the drive, the spin cycle, is because obviously if it's full of water and immediately started to spin, it would just throw that water out right up over the tub so it has its period of draining all the water down as far as it can and then it'll run the drain as it spins because obviously water comes out of the clothes as it spins and then drains out so it's kind of how that process works but I can show you that it actually is spinning so it's spinning just about full blast it'll get faster as it uh, as the clothes get lighter but I will show you that it's spinning real quick even on the rinse cycle it'll spin faster on the uh, final spin cycle, but if we lift this up, it will shut it down But it's getting started spinning there and Those clothes are still super wet and super heavy 
and it doesn't spend near as long either on the rinse cycle before it fills back up, agitates with fresh water. So once that's done, and uh, like I said, I'll, I'll skip the uh, spin or the rinse cycle now because that's just a refill, agitate, and drain again. But we'll come back at the max spin speed on the spin cycle. Okay, back on the final spin cycle. Now it'll spin here for a bit. It's been spinning for about three or four minutes. So it'll still continue to get faster up until it stops. It'll just get faster and faster as it extracts the water out of those clothes. Um, but what I'm going to do is lift the lid up and show you that it is, in fact, spinning nice, fast, and smooth, as you can see and hear right now. Sounds great. Nice and quiet. There again, I think the rain on the roof up there is louder than this washer actually is. But when I open it up, of course, it'll hit the brakes and start to shut it down pretty quick. But I'll open it up fast enough that you can see. Like I said, everything's spinning nice and smooth. So here we go. There, it's going to come to a stop. I'm actually not going to let it stop all the way. That way it can finish spinning out because I'm going to show off this dryer here as soon as it's done. So we will come right back. All right, so the washer has finished up. You see it's nice cleaned out there. Of course, these machines get a head-to-toe thorough inside and out as much as possible cleaning to be restored to like new condition as if I were going to take them and put them in my very own laundry room. That's how I clean these, sanitize them. So we got the clothes moved over here. They're all uh, nice and light. They did an excellent job being spun out, ready to go there. You can see the lights on, the lint traps right here. You can change that out before every load. Go ahead and close that. We're just gonna do time dry on the dryer. So we have time dry, which is typically a high heat setting, although you can manipulate it here with four additional settings, which is great for those delicate items once again. You do have an air dry, which is a no heat setting, super delicate items or tumble dry only items can go in there. And then you also have the um, auto uh, setting. So you could just kind of set it to any one of these, just you know, if you had a load of towels, you could put it on more dryer. If it were just a few t-shirts or something, you could do less drying. It'll kind of uh, determine how long it needs to go. And then it has wrinkle guard also, which is awesome. It, it'll run for uh, five minute intervals for all of about an hour, giving you a chance to get to it before it gets wrinkly. Um, it's kind of a cool feature. Then you also have this here, which is nice, the cycle signal. You can turn that off. You can turn it so that it's not as loud or super loud. And this is great if you have kids or pets or anything like that. You don't want the noise to disturb middle of the day. So, uh, you know, we can just put that on louder. I typically leave them off. Just kind of depends on the day. But we'll hit go. You also have a uh, longer, most of the time drives are around 60 minutes. This one goes all the way up to 80, which is great. If you have kids, you're doing those a uh, bit larger loads. This is actually a pretty cool feature here. So I'm going to let that run for just a minute. Then I'm going to show you that on the inside, it's heating like it's supposed to can see in here sounds great nice smooth operation it'll actually be a little bit quieter once you get the vent hose on the back in your laundry room that kind of muffles pretty much all of the sound all right so I've given that a couple more minutes to go ahead and warm up and I'm going to show you now with my um, heat temperature gun here right in between those two red dots it's going to take a surface temperature measurement so it's about 61 degrees on top of the dryer if I shine it on the ground a little bit cooler on the concrete floor so we'll go ahead and open this up you see that everything's tumbling lights on we'll shine it right inside the heating element tube so there's plenty of heat coming out of that tube right there and that in turn is going to heat the inside of your dryer up anywhere from about 95 all the way up to 195 degrees just kind of depends on what you have your heat setting at up here which we've got it on high and of course it'll get pretty pretty warm once it's been running 20 30 minutes or so but uh now you know both of these work perfect I, like i said i always do a video so that you know everything works perfect you get it home plug it in you'll be good to go that's how i like to spend my money when i buy things off the marketplace or craigslist so that's how i like to sell my items I'll go ahead and get these listed up for sale. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out. And I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day.